In the heart of Sambisa Forest, Nigerian and Allied troops gather with their weapons and equipment. These battle teams have been fighting for weeks under Operation Zip Punch. Their main objective is complete clearance of Boko Haram elements in the notorious forest. Today, their spirits are high. Many enemy camps have been taken over and the army chief is visiting to assess the operation. Uh, this place is strategic, the Samisa forest is strategic. As such, it's something that I will not play with. We must make sure that uh, their morale is always high. Uh, we make the necessary provisions for them to be comfortable and be rest assured we are transforming this place accordingly. Uh, Fighting in Sambisa is complex and danger lurks at every turn. The dust and sand makes movement slow and the fear of buried mines is real. In many places, only armored and mine resistant vehicles can overcome the terrain. Yeah, okay. This is a challenge they hope will be resolved with more funding. We're expecting quite a number of equipment that will be coming to us. This will further consolidate our activities here and the successes so far achieved. Across former Boko Haram strongholds in places like Tukumbiri and Sabil Huda, the troops are establishing their presence and control. This is to show that uh, the soul and mind of Boko Haram has been broken in Samisa Forest. God Almighty is the one that gives us the success and which all of us are happy today to be here because the Sambisa is already cleared and which all of us are very happy. But the war is not over. As troops in Sambisa count their successes, their allies in other key locations like Bama, Gubio and Dikwa have been put on red alert with visits from top army branch chiefs. They will have to work together to ensure complete clampdown on terror activities all around the region. Ngosu Uji, AIT News, Sambisa.